Hi Stampers! Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. This is Jill and you can tell that we're in the holiday season. We made these at an office party and so thought we'd wear them while we were doing some of our Christmas and holiday items that we're going to be showing you. So I want to show you some really fun things that you can do that are more on the craft side of our stamping and you just get these little trays from a local craft store. They come in three sizes. This is the circle and then the rectangle. And then you also have this size right here that is a different size. And you can use magnets on them. And if you notice, this tray right here is copper or we actually took copper embossing powder and went around the whole tray on the edge and embossed it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This stands on an easel and you just stand it up and you can put little notes of what you're thankful for and it'll be fun to go around the table and put little notes right on this and just stand it up and from year to year you can make new notes. So that's a little tip right there. Also this one was done by my granddaughter and we spray painted it first to get the color and just used punches and just glue gunned the magnets to it and it's fun because they can do it this way. They can also decorate it up here. And you're probably wondering how we did this where we got the hole in there. Let me show you how we worked that. I'm going to do this one right here. And you just use a crocodile and you go right into the metal. So I'm going to go from the side on it. And you just, first you just push it down. You kind of got to use a lot of pressure to get it down. And then the ribbon can go inside this area for what if you want to hang it from the wall. <laughs> and that's how you do that so you can put the ribbon in. I would suggest that you, if you're spraying it to get the color, make sure you do the holes first, then spray them after. How do you get it to be the right size? Well, I like to take a bone folder, make a pattern just from copy paper. And you do that by just going around the edge. Any inexpensive paper will do. I'm just holding it there. And it will, it, if it tears, it's okay, because you're just getting the form of the paper. So you can see how that goes. And then you just cut it out from that form, and then it becomes a pattern like this one. And that's how we did the thankful. So. And let's say if you didn't want this particular pattern, you can actually make several different ones and mag and use your magnet to just put them on so you don't adhere them permanently by using glue. Um, glue. You just use your magnets. So you can change your boards up that way. Here is one that's done for Christmas. And it's done that way where we just made the magnets and this is a great framelit set and it's called Christmas Stocking Thinlets and if you noticed on the stocking we use the base with the pool party and then we use the glitter, the red glitter and then if you notice this is the top of the stocking and there's two thinlets also for the toe and the heel of the stocking so you can just, the possibilities are endless with that. And you can go ahead and the kids can put their wish list on here. But it's really fun because you can go ahead and switch up the board however you want. Okay, so let's say I wanted to just keep the red board. And I wanted to take this off. Get a different look for the next year. I would just take a different set of paper and just put it on there you can go ahead and stamp something different up or you can make some other little these are done with the punch right here and our stamps but these could be magnets also so the fun thing about this is you can switch it up you can customizable to however you'd like it okay let me show you how to get the embossing of the color we're going to take a versamark you can either use your versamark pad and a sponge but I'm going to cut, I always like to use like a fourth of my sponge because it's, you can get that much more out of it. Maybe it's just being frugal over the years. You can take a silicone mat and you can go ahead and pour out some of your reinker onto the mat. And we're just going to use it like a stamp pad. Just 
kind of move it around and all you do is you just take this and you do it in sections when you're embossing so if you notice I'm not doing the whole um, tray I'm just doing a small section of it because I don't want it to dry I want it to stay wet and then I'm going to pour the embossing powder on it and when I did the one that was copper I didn't even use probably an eighth of what was in the can I thought oh, I'm going to use the whole thing it it worked out just fine okay so we have that on there I'm going to turn on my heat tool I'm just heating it up for a little bit and you'll notice once the heat tool is hot enough it will turn the powder to gold or the powder will melt it's like magic and be careful the metal will get hot if you're holding it you, you may not want to hold it too close but with any of your embossing powders this can you can customize your tray to be any different color that you want. Make sure it's all heated. If you notice, that's gold, so you're, you're using a different color. If you didn't want it silver, you can do it with your embossing powder, and it goes a long way. And you could just, as this gets um, dry, just put a little reinker, or you can even use your stamp pad too. So either way will work. Hopefully you've enjoyed our video for Watch It Weekly Wednesday. And stay tuned, there'll be more holiday ideas coming. See you next week on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.